Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.23 from Nielsen and Riedel book. So the question is, use not voltage method to find the value of V0 in the circuit in figure P4.23. So this is the figure and let's set the bottommost node here as our ground. And so we will have this one here is... 40 volt from the ground so we'll have 40 here because the voltage in the ground is just zero okay we have two nodes remaining maybe let's name this as not a so we will have the voltage here as va and then the voltage here as vb okay and now let's see our node here we will have we will have this one here, V0 is what we are asked. So we will have V0 is just VA minus 40. So let's save it, VA minus 40. And this will, this will be useful later. So now let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe let's make it going to the right, going down going to the right and this also going to the right this is going up and this is going down so we can do kcl at both va and vb and we should expect that we have two equation with two variables because we have two nodes here okay let's do exactly that so we will have kcl at node VA. <coughs> and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, let's see what current that goes in. And I think this current is the only current that goes in from here. <coughs> so we will have that current is 40 minus VA. So we'll have 40 minus VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 5. And I don't think there are and there is any current that goes in anymore. So only this one. And this is the current that goes out. So we'll have VA minus 0, which is VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 50. So I'll have 50 here. And then this current is going out also, so we'll have plus, and this one minus this one, so I will have VA minus VB divided by, I think 10 is good from here. Okay, let's simplify the equation here by multiplying both sides by 50, yeah, I think 50 is good, 50. So we will have 5 and 50 will cancel out into 10. So I will have 400 on the left hand side minus 10 VA. And then that will equal to 50 and 50 will be VA. And then plus 10 and 50 will cancel into 5. So I will have 5 VA minus 5 VB. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 10 is 16, so I will have 16 VA minus 5 VB, that will equal to 400. Yeah, I think this is for the node VA, let's save this as equation number 1. Okay, now let's move on to another node here, which is VB. So let's do exactly that, KCL at node VB. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, let's see the current that goes in. I think there are three currents that goes in. This one, this one, and that one. And for this one, we will have 40 minus VB divided by 8, right? 
4t minus pb divided by a, 4t minus pb divided by a, and then plus this one here. So we'll have Va minus Vb divided by 10. So we'll have Va minus Vb divided by 10. And then this one here, so that will be 10 ampere. And that will equal to this current here, that will be Vb divided by 40, right? Vb divided by 40. Okay, I think we can multiply both sides by 4t here. And so, 8 and 4t will cancel out into 5. So, I will have 200 here minus 5vb. And then plus 4va minus 4vb plus 400 and that will equal to vb okay now what can we do from here i think we can move all to the right hand side here and i think 200 plus 400 here that will be 600 so let's put let's put that 600 to the right hand side and so we will have minus 4 va minus 4 va and then 9 plus 1 that will be 10 pb okay plus 10 Okay, that will be equation number two. Is that correct? Let's see. Okay, minus nine plus one, that will be 10 pb. Okay. Yeah, I think that is correct. Okay, now let's solve the equation number one and two. Solve equation one and two. And I think the fastest way to do it is just by using calculator. Okay, let's see. Set up an equation which is number 5. Two variables is number 1. So we will have 16. And then minus 5. And then 400, right? Okay, and then minus 4. And then 10 and then 600 okay i think we will have the va va will be 50 so we will have va will be 50 volt and then what is vb let's see what the calculator said vb is 80 volt okay a nice number so 80 volt uh, you can also use substitution and elimination, but cal calculator is faster. So I will have this is 50 volt and VB is 80 volt as our answer. And I think this is all for problem 4.23. Let me know if I made any mistakes in the calculation. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.